If anybody ever sees one of these out in the wild, you have to get it. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here in Dunnellan, Florida, and we're gonna check out a couple antique stores here. It's a great little town, and there are some antique stores, actually two right across from each other. So let's head into this one back here first. They've got all these little rooms, dominoes, mid-century ashtray for $18, and you get the little dominoes. Some Pinocchios. That's unique. Pinocchio, set for $50. I think this is called Swirl Line. Does it say? Just says blue and white glass. I think it's Pier One, pretty sure. These birds on a wave. How much do they want for birds on a wave? Let's see. Come out. 15, it's clear glass. Oh, look at the poodles, they have 37 on them. They are made in Japan. The pink poodles, those are great. And they have the spaghetti detailing on here. The spaghetti detailing is really just the texture. It's that heavy texture there. And in this case, it has the gold on top of it too. And it has the applied roses, the applied flowers to the tops of their heads. We'll go back into these rooms. I like this watercolor. What is that? Oh, it's painted on like handmade paper. It's $28 from 1990. Let's see, there is a little booth straight back here with mice. They're adorable. Okay, we're gonna head back up towards the front and then there's a whole nother wing we can check out. It's right around the corner. When you first walk in, there's like a whole se separate side. So there's a lot of newer items all up in here. Well, it's a, really a mixture, but it's, I didn't see anything that I needed to get. They have this Rene lithographic print for $20. It's very similar to the Turner prints. And this one is says just litho in USA. I'm really excited to come into this room, but I just walked through like a whole kitchen. This was the old kitchen in this, I guess, house. They have this countertop and everything. So let's go this way. I'm noticing some glassware right off. There's a giraffe for $10. Now this Jack in the Pulpit vase back here is $15. Jack in the Pulpit is the name given to it based on the shape of this. So you can really see from the side profile, it kind of goes whoop, like a little S. And then it has the ruffled banding along the edge of it. This dolphin is $10. It's actually not bad at all for that one. And then there's also this polar bear for 14. Oh, I like these little glass grapes for $8. I think I might get those. They're amber glass, and then they have the little green leaves. There's also an elephant back here for $10. That's a crystal elephant. That is really good quality elephant too. And that's a lot of work for that elephant to stand on two legs. It's a hefty thing, so it really, to pose for this crystal piece, well, I'm gonna get this one and this one. Those are really lovely. There's also this cracked egg-footed piece. That's interesting. Well, it's not actually cracked until I drop it. It's $8, though. There's nothing inside of it. Oh, I, I thought I liked it until I see that's glitter. No. The frog is doing yoga. I don't think it's that old. Oh, here's a Joseph. It's a Joseph original for $5. I love that little dog, don't you? Isn't that adorable? It's very, I'm very tempted by it. Oh, and these are Cats by Nina. These are collectible. They're usually marked on the back. Cats by Nina. She, she did a couple, I think she did a couple dog things too. Ooh, and that amethyst for $45. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, I love that. That's kind of like those big peacock chairs. Oh my gosh, it's only, it's only $95? You're kidding. Oh my gosh, I wonder, is it not in great shape or something? I really can see myself with that. Don't you enjoy that immensely? Maybe it's broken or something. You don't look broken. Let me set on it. It feels pretty good. Okay, so I did not get the settee because, well, I mean, what am I gonna do with it? But 
I am going to go across the street now to this wonderful house and see if they've got anything for me. I'm sure they might. It's so cool. I like the color and everything of this one. And it looks like an old Victorian era house. When you first walk in, they have all of these rooms set up as like different pockets of spaces. I've always liked these Moroccan looking lamps. They're new and they make them, but they're kind of fun. And they've got a whole bunch of them over here. I think upstairs there's all of the older stuff though because down here it's kind of like more of a boutique with like cards. Those are pretty. They're like handmade paper twirled up. Oh wow. Isn't that pretty? The architecture in here, this banister, the rail. That's so lovely. They have a milk glass display right when you walk up. Now I don't see anything that has a ton of age on it except for possibly this one being a little creamer except that's also imperial glass with the ig mark so it's from the 70s or so as well just like everything else here and then in this oh this is a bathroom they have a chalk chalk paint cabinet a couple toothpick holders and some other smaller items there what's in the bathtub horses you know, Ocala is actually known for their horse industry. The equestrian life is very large around here. We'll go this way. Yeah, here's an entire room full of like primitives. Let's see, we're gonna go this way. There's some canisters. Here's a Pyrex bowl. Kind of beat up. Now, I always like to look at Pyrex through a window because you can see all of the places where the, the paint is missing when you hold it up to a light more easily than not with the light source. So that Pyrex is $14. And this is Pyrex trademark, which means it's a little bit older from the Pyrex primary set. This was from about the 60s era. There's also a Pyrex from the late, the, the 40s. And that one would say on the bottom TM Reg, which means trademark registered. So TM Reg on the Pyrex indicates an earlier iteration of the Pyrex bowls. So we're gonna head back out this way. I think there's a couple other spaces up here to check out too. Let's go this way. I just love all these lamps like this, the old slag glass lamps. $189 for this one. And these aren't terribly old either. They're probably from the 90s or, uh, yeah, about the 90s or early 2000s. This one's older. That's pretty. That one, 165. That lava lamp, $189. My oh my. That ruffled bowl is 18. It looks like there's a bit of iridescence in it. There's a spare over there. This is the older milk glass for $12. And they have the ship for $18. Clear swung vase, $10. That's really not bad at all. I just noticed these. These are very interesting because it's purple print. I mean, there's other colors on here too. But purple is not one I've seen. This is Petrus Rug. Ragout Abbey, made in England. So this is purple transfer wear, and then they went ahead and splattered on there the green and the gold. That's really cool. It's 50% off too. So that's not bad if you're into that. I thought this was cool. It's this old China, it's Cardinal China Company. It says soap pad on there. I think it's from about the late 40s. It's $15, so I'm not gonna get it. I like the colors on it. Let's check out this thrift shop. It's called Second Life Thrift Shop. They have some dishes up front. This is Temptations, 30 for the whole set. It's not bad. And some bears. I don't want bears. Mother. That's where she drinks all of her liquor. And that lady in there, she looks dazed and confused. This is molded. Molded crystal and a duck on a plate. What does it say? Moore's Dag, 1973. Oh, Mother's Day. Oh my. Orange line means half off. Darn. 
If only I had an orange marker. So they've, I'm kidding. <laughs> but they have mugs and plates. Oh, and they do have artwork. Do you want to look through it? These are all, no, 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 no. There's, the, there's a lot of frames there. That is what we want. That's right. A crocheted sundae in a cup for 25 cents. It's very tempting. Oh, it's sale, but Bahamas, more Bahamas, Corning Corel mugs. It's pretty art. It is original, it's 50 cents too. I'd probably, I'd probably take it out of the frame and just sell the paper art. It looks like a watercolor. Isn't that pretty? Nice little winter scene cottage. It's tempting, but I, you know, I better not. Some prints. Oops, I don't want to drop the cottage. That would be disastrous. Just looking through here. Some of these don't have anything in them anymore. They have no art. Girl, she is smelling her flowers. That's machined embroidered. You can tell because the stitches are very consistent and tight. Okay, I'll put her back on top. Here's a toast holder. You know, back in the day, they used to put toast on a nice thing like this so they could look at it better. I remember first seeing it, I think, in Downton Abbey, and I thought it was the coolest thing. Although that one that I just showed wasn't as old or anything. It was a reproduction. All right, so we're now gonna check out this thrift store here in the same town. Maybe we'll find some stuff in here. You never know. There is an antique store right over there on the corner called Bonnie's Antiques, but Bonnie is probably at home sleeping because it's not open. So let's see if we can find anything in here. So they have some vases here. They have decorations over here, all in this case. So once you're ready, then we'll give you, I'll go through and get you some furniture. Looks like they have a whole bunch of clothes back on this side of it. Yeah, I see a lot of clothes racks all throughout there. And then up here, I think we'll probably just turn back around and go out the other way. Although they do have lamps, a lot of lamps. I don't need a lamp. So let's head back out this way. Oh, look at that old flooring on the ground. Oh, and all the decorations are over here. We'll see if we want any of it. There's a mixture here. Although I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me. Oh, except this is a treasure. Now, if anybody ever sees one of these out in the wild, you have to get it. I'll just put her back on her shelf. It's sad, but nobody wants her. Okay, so I will wrap up this video. It wasn't all too eventful here at the last stop, although I did find Ariel. She was out of the ocean finally. She just looked like crap. Life has not been treating her well. She needs to go back in the ocean where she belongs. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyways, we did pretty well here in Donalyn, Florida. It's a nice day. So great. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.